Hi gorgeous girls, how are you today? Feeling fit, happy and healthy? I jolly well hope so. Well I'm Adele from Get Gorgeous and I keep being asked what has brought me on my own gorgeous journey. So I thought I'd spend some time with you today and explain. I'm Adele and I have been running Get Gorgeous for a number of years. I am a healthy, happy, comfortable size 10 with a rather large bottom and I've got over it. I've got over the issue of my bum and what I, how I come across. I am comfortable with who I am, but it didn't always work like that. Okay, so I am now in proportion. I now have lots of energy and I now sleep incredibly well. And I now notice that my focus is really good. I can work through jobs, I can strategize, I can be very tactical in the way that I work. And I'm really, really pleased with that. And that has come part and parcel of being healthy. I can get jobs done because my mind is clear. I've got rid of all the hang up about what I look like and how I come across and I'm more confident. But as I said, it wasn't always like that. When I was at university, I was a big, big girl. You might see photos if you go to the blog, you'll see. In my youth, my lovely daddy used to call me thunder thighs. I heard all the jokes. School friends used to say to me, well, you'll never be skinny. I never had that skinny gene and I always thought I could, I could manufacture it. I'm now comfortable with the size that I am. When I started to work, when I left university, I was exercising, but I was still a big girl. I was kind of binging at the weekends. Do you know what I mean? You're quite good during the week and then you get to the weekends, you go out for something to eat, you drink a lot, only at the weekends, but it was kind of binging. And I did that for a while whilst I was working full time. The story changed. My life changed when I fell pregnant with my first son. I continued to work, but during that pregnancy, I got bigger and bigger and bigger. And my energy levels got lower. My confidence plummeted. And I worked like that for a long, long while. And then I came and thought, right, I've got to do something about this. So I did what everybody does. I joined a slimming club. I went along to a slimming club, Weight Watchers, and I did lose a lot of weight. I lost a huge amount of weight. In fact, the lady that was working with us as a group felt I had lost too much weight. I wasn't eating enough. I was self-sabotaging. I remember struggling through the day on one sandwich, on a tuna sandwich. I just didn't have a clue. I was calorie counting. I wasn't looking at the nutrition of my food. And I crashed big style. As a busy office executive, or that's how I saw myself, I crashed. I couldn't cope. I actually had to end up leaving that role. In hindsight, that was a good thing, but at the time, that was very painful. Now, I knew when I was going to this weight loss club that the advice was counterintuitive. It didn't sit very well with me. I didn't feel comfortable with being um, told what to do rather than being able to understand why I was doing it. And I felt very long term tired. So in retrospect, looking back, I can see that I wasn't eating nutritionist food, food that was going to keep me going, keep me energized. I was just obsessed with losing weight and I did it. And then I got it back again and I lost it and I got it back again. But I was doing it for the wrong reasons. And that's where gorgeous girls are different. I wasn't eating the right thing and I was hungry all the time. And when I was hungry, it meant that I was craving all the time. So what I did, I would go and grab a sugar treat and then that sugar treat poo, would send me down deep, deep into a slump. Energy slump, mind slump, couldn't think properly, sugar hangover. But it's not just sugar, that's too simple. There are other things to look out for. 
I was so exhausted when I was doing this yo-yo weight loss thing that I was craving time in a comfy bed. You know, this is a terrible thing to confess, but I really just wanted a few days in a warm, comfortable hospital bed because I was exhausted. I know now that that's not the way to live. It's not long-term success. I love my shape now, big bum and all. I love who I am. I have let go of fear. I have let go of frustration, not knowing what to eat. And I've let go of that worry. And that worry has made me empowered. I love it. I feel so strong and confident about who I am. And that's what I want for you. And that's what I've got for all the gorgeous girls. So I wanted freedom. Freedom, and that's what I got from dieting. I've got freedom from that headspace, that negative headspace of constantly not knowing what to eat and how many calories it's going to be, what I'm supposed to be eating on a good day and what I can, you know, enjoy. It's crazy talk and it's draining, exhausting. It's another layer of complexity on your busy life and you don't need to do it. I have changed my relationship with food for the better. I could say that it was forced upon me, okay? If I'm totally honest, the change that I brought about in myself came about because it was forced. I was unsure, unknowing, I was following this yo-yo cycle, working and crashing, but I then, after my first son, had nine years nine years of trying to conceive my second child. I couldn't do it, I kept conceiving and losing. It's, it's a big story that I don't wanna get into here, but it forced my hand. I had to look at what I was eating. I had to look at the way I was exercising. I tried everything, you name it. Chinese medicine, osteopathy, everything. All the ologies I tried. <laughs> And in the end, it came down to being relaxed, being calm and good nutrition and comfortable exercise. So it forced my hand and it makes my heart bleed. But now I can step forward and I can offer the guidance that I went through and show you the way forward. I've examined everything in my lifestyle and now I've worked in the exercise and nutrition industry for over 20 years. I know what motivates women. I understand your motivation. Knowing why you want something is so powerful. And I know as a woman, when you've got a mission, you do it. <laughs> if you're on the right track and you want something, you're there. Whether it's the pink high heels, I'm being silly, or whether you see someone you love in danger, you're there. You're a girl on a mission. So my mission is to find out your why. What's at the other end? What are you aiming for? What is your big goal, your big dream? Not how much pounds you're gonna lose or stone, but what you will get at the end of it. That's your motivation, the freedom the confidence to be who you are. I truly believe in empowerment. And when you've got that empowerment, you can do everything you're supposed to be doing. Not the silly head mind stuff that's going on in your head. You can be free and do where you need, do what you need to do and go where you need to go. So what is your motivation? Why do you wanna get slimmer? Why do you want to get fitter? Why do you want to get healthier? Tell me, let me know. I'm interested. I want to find out. And if that motivation is big enough, that's what's going to help you succeed. The female mind is bogged down in detritus. Loads of things going on. Johnny's sandwich box to the latest pantomime. But if I get you focused on your mission, you'll get there. So, Get Gorgeous is a journey together. You and me, together. It gives you empowerment. 
empowerment to know what you're supposed to do not being told what you what to do but understanding education and that gives you empowerment it always has them inspiration and motivation that is what get gorgeous gives you inspiration other girls on the same journey motivation to keep going there is no restrictions there is no diet plan there's no do nots there are only do's <laughs> does that make sense so i'm not going to say to you don't eat three bananas don't eat pork on a tuesday I'm going to encourage you what to eat. Not the negatives, but the positives. Ah, oh, that's a different tact. Yes. What I want you to fill yourself up with to be strong, nutrition and healthy. You're going to work privately and confidentially. That's what Get Gorgeous gives you. That's really caring. Somebody that's really on your side not just me but the group of girls as well who are invested in you as much as they are in themselves because they can see themselves in you and vice versa it's a good team it's a strong bonding team you can work at your own pace on the get gorgeous program you work at your own pace they're 12 12 nutritional modules and you can go through those in 12 weeks or bit longer <laughs> depends on what's going on in your life but I want to change dramatically change the way that you look at food I don't want you to be negative about food I don't want you to spend time wasting your thoughts on food I just want positivity and positivity breeds more positivity your life will change don't take my word for it listen to the gorgeous girls they're always on the Facebook group Number seven, Get Gorgeous will help you to go deeper. Deeper into who you are and what you want. Interesting. And finally, number eight, Get Gorgeous will help you and your whole family. And that's what I love the most. So that love spreads out and out and out. Not just to you, but the people that you love. Empowerment. So, my gorgeous girls, if you want to book to apply for some time with me to find out what motivates you, I would be delighted to chat. Fill out the application form, book, schedule a time and let's talk. Let's get the next 12 months really sorted and clear and have a great plan for your future. Okay, well done and thank you for listening.